Hey, in today's video, I am going to completely rebuild my solar system. Now, as I've been working in my shed, you know, you add components and you change things around and you add a charge controller here and a device over there and a fuse breaker over here. And after a while, it just begins to get messy again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I've taken the next 10 hours and and redid my solar system. And so here's a picture of what it was before. Here is a picture of what it is now. So if you want to see how I did this, continue to watch. Welcome to the channel where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. If these are interesting topics to you, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we have new videos. So again, thanks for joining us and we hope that you enjoy the video. So before I did anything, I went online, I went to Amazon and downloaded all of the pictures of the items that I've purchased. And once I downloaded those items, I then printed them out at 100% scale. Just in black and white is fine. And so this gives me an idea of how I might want to lay out my solar system before I even get out into the shed and redo it. And so this just gives me an idea of scale, spacing, is my board big enough, do I have enough room for my wires, you know, things like that. Now, a little disclaimer here, I did use this to kind of give me an idea, but the end product is not exactly as I thought it would be. I actually think it worked out a little bit better and um, I'll tell you guys why here in a little bit. But this is going to give you a good idea. So this is a time lapse of me working through that process of cutting out all of those pieces of paper, putting them on the board, and just giving you an idea of what I thought might be a good solution to redoing the solar system. So I would highly suggest doing this as well so that you have a good idea of maybe what your system is going to look like and if you have enough room and if your spacing is good, if the board is good, all of those kinds of things. It was very, very helpful. Highly recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description down below to all of the images that I have so that you don't have to go and hunt for them and you can print them out and put them on your board as well. So for the next several minutes, I'm just gonna show you some time-lapse videos of me putting together the new solar system and the teardown of the old one. And so just enjoy the music, enjoy watching, and before you guys leave, make sure to get to the end because I am going to turn this thing on for the very first time. I have never done this before, never done a rebuild, and we're gonna see what happens after this teardown and rebuild takes place as to what happens when I start it up for the very first time after all of this is done. So you're gonna to wanna to go to um, the end of the video, watch the rest of the video and watch this thing start up. everybody here is the moment of truth after about nine hours maybe even actually probably 11 hours of reconfiguring this thing and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I hook the batteries in the solar up for the first time I've never even done this myself so let's see what happens okay so this is the moment of truth after about 10 hours of rebuilding this entire thing, I'm gonna hook it up for the very first time and you're gonna be witness to this. 
So just a disclaimer though, I am doing this outside during the middle of the day and so you might hear some cars or dogs barking or birds or some of those kinds of things. So sorry about that in advance. Um, but before we hook this up, I just want to show you what I've got here. I've got two fuse breakers right here and they're turned off. This connects the charge controllers to the battery pack. Then I have these circuit breakers up here, which go from the solar panels directly to the charge controllers. And those are turned off. These are turned off. And then this circuit breaker here, which is connected to my step down, that's turned off. So all of the components right now are completely turned off. The only thing that I want to do at this point is to feed power to the inverters from the batteries. Now the first time that you do this, you are going to get a spark and that is normal because the capacitors that are inside of here are have stored up power. And so what I have here is this little ceramic resistor. This is designed to cut down that spark because when you're at 24 volts and higher, it's like a welding arc when you put this on there and, and you don't really want to do that. So what I'm going to do now, and guys, this is where it gets a little nerve wracking, is let's go ahead and put this on here right now. And let's see if we can get a little bit of a resistor here um, going. Yeah, little spark right there. Super, super minimal than if you were to just put this directly on there. So this should now have discharged everything in there and I should be able to go ahead and put this on here without any issues. Let's see. Yep, perfect. So let's go ahead and get the screws and nuts on that and let's fire this thing up. Let's turn the inverter on and let's see if I get power from it. the batteries here. Yes, I am. 26.5 at 120 volts, which is lining right up with the battery monitor here. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the electronic components and do the 12, uh, the 24 to 12 volt step down and let's see if I'm getting power here. Yes, I am. The Raspberry Pi is getting power. The Pepwave uh, wireless internet is getting power. And my lights in the shed turned on. So that is perfect. So now the next thing we need to do is turn on the ability for the charge control. Oh, hold, let's see. No, let's turn on power from the solar panels. Okay, so we should be getting, yep. Okay, so we're getting power from the solar um, panels to the charge controllers. So now let's turn these on and see if the charge controllers are going to charge the batteries. So let's flip that switch on and let's flip that switch on and it looks like we are charging the volts is going up so we are receiving solar power and now the batteries are getting charged so oh my goodness i'm like shaking this was incredible putting this together and redoing it and it is so much better so much better of a design all my wires are laid out and done very very nicely so yeah Really excited. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.